Greetings and salutations all, as the Spectrum, back with their third episode of Uplink OS, a graphical update for the 2001 hacking game. Last time we pushed through our beginning level missions and secured ourselves a new gateway. Now it's time to take a look at two of the new hacks open to us, so let's get started. One, two, three, four, and we're in. Welcome back to your gateway. Okay, and then we'll just pop this up right quick. This is our gateway information, and we can see that we have, in fact, upgraded our gateway. We've got two potential slots for our CPU. Our bandwidth potential is doubled, as has our memory capacity potential. We still haven't upgraded either of those, but that's uh, something that we can work towards rather shortly. Um, today, what we're going to try and do, besides look at two new types of hacks, is acquire the credits to put in another chip in our computer so that we uh, have the power necessary to move towards bigger and better hacks. So earlier I did a little bit of house cleaning and earned the credits necessary to purchase the next application needed to aid us in our cybercrime endeavors, and that uh, application was the proxy disabler and so this will give us access to complete some of the social security hacks later or at this level so let's go ahead and connect up and take a look at some of these new missions available to us missions. all right so these are the basic like hacking for qualification changes um, often graduate things occasionally even you'll get some that are looking to uh, help destroy people's academic ratings um, so we'll pick up a couple of these create a new identity and while this is one of the ones that we'll need the proxy disabler for but we can't auto pick it up so we're gonna have to jump in here uh, why not ask for half the money? Awesome. Give us that money. Always nice to have a little bit of extra funds in the bank. And generate a university degree. Alright. So, now we are ready. Disconnect from here, and so you see now we have the International Academic Database, and the International Social Security Database. Load up our previous hacking path, and so first we're going to go after the um, International uh, Academic one, which means all of the uh, academic standings, the university degrees for a friend, improve our so that's what we're going to do first so we'll patch into that and have that be our default location so let's go first let's do this one here so gain access to the international academic database and provide this person with the following following university degrees. Uh, physics class one. So we are looking for Nadia Denning. I was looking to, <laughs> well, I suppose I ought to hack in first. Guess that wouldn't hurt, eh? Do it! Hey, sometimes this thing, I tell you, huh, wouldn't be a bad idea to get that going either. Search records. Enter name here. Nadia Denning. All right. So, graduate qualifications. We're going to say physics class, class 
this one. Commit. We did it. Disconnect. And scrub our path. So load it up. And this is our test machine. Remove them from the path. Reconnect them. In we go. And once again, deleting our log files. Because you don't need to remove your fingers from the crime if you cut your finger off from your arm. That actually wouldn't work. There's DNA and other forensic evidence. But it, it metaphors. They're good. I like them. And so with this last little piece of information removed, oop, and we're out. And we move on. Load it up. Oh, he did not save it. Well, let's save this so that we don't have to keep doing that. Connect up. Have they already updated? No, they have not. Let's search some records. Who are we looking for? We're looking for Lewis something I can't say. All right, Lewis, what do they want you to have? IEEE accreditation. I can respect that. Let's do this. IEEE. Commitment. Okay. Five. Seven. All right. We're done. Do we be bold? We be bold. Why not? Anna Larson. What are we going to do for Anna Larson? Uh, this person requires a first class degree. Commit. Okay. Anna Larson, you're done. Do we be that bold? Yes, we do. Here we go. Ferris. Ranger. And in reality, you should never push it this much, but we've got quite a connection path done, so I feel a little safe. And there we go. Disconnect. Three hacks for the price of one. Load it up. Remove the test machine. Connect. In we go. Alright. Start. In we go. And delete. And delete. Beautiful. It's like we know what we're doing. Last one. This connect. And just like that. Oh, we can come in here and get rid of some of these congratulations. Quick tidy fifteen thousand. I uh just realized one of the emails I deleted there, I actually meant to explain more of. Um, it was talking about our neuromancy level, and I'm not gonna get super, super into depth of that because I have always just played through doing any hack that I wanted to and never cared whether or not the public had any real opinion of me. But I'm going to go ahead and link in the description below a really great um, all around guide um, called the uh, ultimate uplink guide it uh, it goes through everything that we're doing here in like finite detail it explains everything involved and so I'm gonna link that in the description down below and that'll help explain more about what your neuromancy level means it does have some effect on jobs that are offered to you but I've always 
just kind of push to get really high grade equipment and then I like to do bank hacks which I will cover in one of our much later <laughs> videos when we have got the uh, type of rig that will allow for that to happen. Um, but yeah, so I just, just wanted to mention that quickly before we go on to our, uh, our last mission here. So, let's go. Popping up the display, load up our path, disconnect our target, reconnect, in we go. Get us out of here. So we are logging into the social security database. We in the big leagues now. And we are in this. Whose records are we looking for here? We're we looking for INS. INS, you are about to be employed. All right, the man below has recently passed away. Ines, you're not just good there to be employed with a few simple keystrokes. We commit. Access denied by a proxy server, which is why we have this. And boom, commit has been updated. We disconnect, we reply. We get our money loaded up into the test machine. Here we go. Racing against the clock. These are some of the hacks that are a little bit more common to get backtraced on. They're starting to get into the things that the uh, big roller doesn't want us to be looking at. Or not really even so much big brother, just you know, it's it's corporate it's a corporate thing. Although in that situation we did hack the in not just the social service uh, social security, but the international social security. That's that's the big leagues. But so yes, we have got seventeen thousand credits now, so it is time for a shopping spree. Go in here and tidy this up. Boom. And thanks again for uh, reminding me to use the bind. It, it really just makes everything go so much quicker. So, app upgrades. Now, one of the things I want to do, the reason we're in here, is it is time to upgrade our log deleter. And realistically, the only one worth ever changing it to is the full $4,000 version 4 one, so we're going to snag that. As you can see here, we now have version 4.0, and that's good. We're going to come over here, jump into our hardware section, and we are going to drop in Mm, this is always this is always a hard one for me. So we've got the hundred in right now. We've got the hundred in. We could just patently double it. Yeah, that seems the way to go. Let's double that up. We've got the twenty-four. Room for the forty-eight. I generally stay away from doing grabs though so let's maybe well we're gonna upgrade our bandwidth because that's always good to have and you know what why not we'll take it we've got the credits Ooh, nope it is always safe in this game to leave yourself some playroom in case you need to pick up something new in the app section so we will consider going for the memory at a later date but for now I think we're just gonna leave it with the bandwidth and CPU update. And I think that about does it for today. Uh, we've now added our second processor. Um, so we're starting to unlock the power we need to go after some of the uh, bigger hacks that are require us to be connected for longer periods of time, running multiple processes like the proxy disabler. 
And so, uh, you know, thanks once again for taking the time to hang out here. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button and you'll get notifications when the next video goes up. Otherwise, I'm SS Spectrum and have yourselves a great day.